today will be a very special episode because we finally got hold on an LT Wright Illuminous 5. Check it out! not easy to get a hold on this knife, was it Chetan? No, it wasn't. We uh, have been trying to get a hold of this knife for a very long time. Yeah. And uh, suddenly I received an uh, email from Alumnia that uh, they had the one in stock. So How long was it in stock after uh, that? We just ordered it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it uh, wouldn't have been uh, long, but now we finally got one, and uh, from the company LT Wright, the Luminous Five, and the steel is CPM three B. It's uh, uh, LT Wright. It's uh, a very known in bushcraft world. Yeah, uh, really nice handmade knives. Famous for uh, sharp knives and sharp spines. So that's uh, actually, uh, I'm a little bit excited now because uh, it should be fun to see. And we will show it. Yes. So let's go into the specs a little yeah. bit in more detail. Let's do that. Specs on the LD Wright Illuminous. Well, what's the length of the blade? The length of the blade is 14.5 centimeters. And the whole knife? Uh, 26.5 it has a thickness of four millimeters skinny grind and the steel is CPM 3b the handle is made of uh, black canvas micarta yeah. which is feels really soft when you don't wear gloves <laughs> um, they have a, a re of the knife has a really sharp spine as you hopefully can see you can see that they sharpen it up even there and we can even feel a small burr so they did really really well i think this is a knife in our collection which has the most sharpest spine so excited to test it out with a uh, with a fire steel um the weight is uh, 300 what is it 308 uh, grams 308 grams and um I think it's well balanced. Something around there. Yeah. So it doesn't feel heavy. It feels like a uh, uh, nice bushcraft uh, knife, which is uh, actually it, it is big knife, but it doesn't feel like a big knife. Mm. And that's a big plus. So it will be, uh, well, I guess a knife when you should b uh, uh, choose one knife only. This could be the one, but yeah. that will be the conclusion after today. And the sheet? The sheet, <laughs> yes. This is the sheet with a place for a fire steel. Um, it has a dangler, which is fixed on the sheet itself. You cannot detach it. Uh, you, if you don't like uh, danglers, uh, you can have it on your bed like that. Uh, we like danglers, we always use danglers, so for us this is perfect. Really nice sheet in the classic uh, English form. Ah, it's, uh, it's a beauty. Yeah? It's a beauty. Yeah? So, shall we try to do some batooning? It's time for that. Yeah. Good. Chato, why are you limping? Well, Tell the viewers about that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, uh, we received the, this knife on Friday <laughs> and uh, we were just uh, checking it out a little bit and uh, and we, we had a small table and I was going to take a picture of uh, the knife and it fell down, hit me 
right in the leg in your in your bone in, uh, in the bone uh, so I um, got a really nasty cut oh it was a nasty one uh, it got it straight to his uh, raven pants yeah actually uh, you still have it <laughs> yeah uh, we, we are here. Here, on that, yeah? here, you have the evidence. <laughs> <laughs> it went through a sock, yes. straight in the leg, and it blooded uh, quite a lot. So yeah. we we had to tape his wound. Yep. Uh, we filmed it, so we can uh, we will show <laughs> it now. And uh, I, it was a it was a nasty one. Yeah, uh, it was, and it was on a Friday night, so uh, we didn't want to bother the doctor. So. Uh, the blood was thin as well. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it was uh, it was a little bit painful, but I'm doing okay. Uh, so make sure you bring your emergency kit with you, because uh, yeah, that's very important. And uh, always put your knife in the sheet. Yeah. But uh, at the same time, we are blood brothers now. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do some betoning. Check it out. Not a problem whatsoever. Very good. Ah, uh, looks really nice. Yeah. Time for some feather sticking. It's gonna grind, so that should go really well. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a good, like very good start. <laughs> I don't have to put any pressure. It bites in the wood. Makes really nice curls. Very nice. Oh, it's sharp like hell. Yeah. And then we haven't done anything with it and we used it on Friday. Yeah, so we didn't even strop the knife. No. Oh. Shit. And it should have been very dull when it uh, hit my leg. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think it has the quality of um, even a small bushcraft knife, mm -hmm. so it combines, uh, it has the length, but you can feather stake with it like a small knife. The dimension of this knife, uh, it's really big, it's really cool. So it doesn't look like a really big knife, but actually it is. If we compare it to the custom Lush Feld knife, you can see how uh, wide the blade is. It's uh, it has so much steel on it, and the handle is much bigger. I even I think this knife has a good handle, but it's ah, it's amazing how big it is. We compare it now to the Felk Neven A1. So the length is almost the same, but you can see again how wide the blade is. It's I think it's really cool. It fits like a heavy duty bushcrafter. We got one more, and that's the uh, Bark River uh, Bravo 1.5. And again, so the the size is almost the same, but the blade is wide. It's just so fantastic. It looks really robust. Now, it's a pretty nice shuttle. Yeah, it really is. 
I checked the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> you are doing curls. Jesus. Really easy. It uh, looks like you're cutting in the butter or something. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. It feels like that. Uh, incredible. Uh, this is a uh, pure joy to a uh, feather stick with a knife like this. <laughs> and also the four millimeters. I, I think that's also a quality of that it can feather stick really well. It's not too thick. No. All right. Yes, this works. Yeah. Pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, class. Oh, holy shit! That's a. Uh... It's Jesus. a cutter as well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Now we made some uh, nice feather sticks. So it's time to test out if indeed it is such a damn sharp spine. <laughs> Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Almost. Almost. <laughs> oh, that Good chance, we say for Swedish. <laughs> Good shit. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> now I can consider myself professional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, even started uh, this one as well. <laughs> Two in Ooh, one. Woo. Perfect. All right, now it's time for uh, some food prepping. We're gonna test out the knife. Uh, we're gonna make pizzas. We have the pizza oven on. It's getting really warm. Now we are a little bit excited because we're gonna um, uh, cut some really advanced articles. Of, uh, and we start with an onion. So let's see how this one goes. Oi, that goes really well. I am really amazed. It's also a food prepper. Perfect. Yeah, Tim. Conclusion. Conclusion. About the knife. LT Wright Luminous 5. I think it's a simple conclusion today. Yeah? What is your conclusion? Simple. Are you ready? Yes. Well, the conclusion is it's a fantastic bushcrafter. It's really, really yes. Yeah. An awesome knife. So, that's all. See you next See time. See you next time.